Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wives For You channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Time to discuss what Robin Brown of Sister Wives did to the children that Cody Brown shares with Mary, Janelle, and Christine Brown. Cinderella wanted to go to the ball, but her evil stepmother, Lady Tremaine, stood in her way. Robin is a troublemaker, even though she isn't as obviously nasty as the renowned Lady Tremaine, who allowed Cinderella to attend the ball, provided she finished all of her duties. Instead of screaming and raising a fuss, Robin uttered soft, ostensibly kind comments that caused Cody to make poor choices. In addition, she gave advice that nobody requested or desired. Cinderella had a lot of work ahead of her before she could go meet Prince Charming on what was destined to be a wonderful night, as the statement above makes evident. Though Robin's sadism was not as overt as Lady Tremaine's, she was involved in many of Cody's conflicts with his children. Robin hid her claws while pretending to be a helpless, sultry Disney princess, but they remained. On March 5, 2024, Garrison Brown went away, and nothing can bring him back. Robin isn't to blame for his passing, but he is missed. He was hurt by the conflicts within the Brown family though, and Robin occasionally made matters worse. She would be the force behind the throne, not letting Cody take charge of his relationships with his kids. She wasn't the children's mother though. Robin understood there was friction between those boys and Cody, which is why she didn't want the older sons to visit the opulent home she shares with him. She was afraid they would all fight and spoil the holiday. This is incredibly wrong. Emotional distance is what actually destroys relationships. The divisions widened as Cody was unable to get along with the late garrison, his vocal son Pardon Brown, Gabriel Brown, and other Brown kids. They got really difficult to fix. In the aforementioned scene from the 1950 animated Disney classic Cinderella, Lady Tremaine makes every effort to prevent Cinderella from attending the ball. She ultimately locks the knave beauty inside a tower. Robin has meddled in Cody's children's life in inappropriate ways, even though she has never locked Cody's children up and taken the key. For instance, Maddie Brush, the daughter of Janelle and Cody, chastised her on screen for having criticized the religion she attended. Was that where Robin lived? Not at all. Maddie reported that she was informed she may attend any church of her choice. When she did, Robin started expressing her thoughts. Things became so Cinderella-like that she informed Maddie that her selection was just insufficient. Robin blamed the kids' poor choices on the fact that they had told the kids they could choose their own church and then put Maddie down when she discovered one that she liked. This shockingly harsh moment really tells a narrative about what's going on inside of Robin, Robin's image as the puppet master stems from her push-me-pull-me attitude. Was Robin, who pretended to be a faithful sister wife for years and secretly harbored fantasies of monogamy with Cody, not satisfied with Maddie's church because it wasn't devout enough? Perhaps, although Robin wasn't a bad person, her interference and passive-aggressive behavior were unfortunately common. She also frequently says one thing and does another. The Brown family has never experienced anything worse than the loss of Garrison. Janelle loved him dearly and was a devoted mother. Although she is very strong, her grief is also very deep. She is able to comprehend what would cause someone else to crumble. She continues to support her other children while finding methods to get by. In terms of how she's handled this awful situation, Janelle is an angel. She has found it really difficult. She always had a good head on her shoulders and was an impressive woman. She is now displaying a truly heroic level of strength. Robin ought to learn from Janelle's example. She need to have the strength to leave Cody and his children alone. She needs to learn this lesson. She creates issues when she gets engaged. The majority of the brown children by prior women don't think highly of her. She is someone who enrages and frustrates them. The sister wives in order for Cody to attempt settling the disputes, Robin must keep out of the way. This evil stepmother has to take a backseat, take care of herself, 
and encourage Cody in his attempts to make amends for the kids he's at odds with. For Cody, and more importantly, the kids, this is really crucial. Though a lot has happened, optimism never fades. In Disney movies, love and hope always win out. When individuals are kind, considerate, and dedicated Star to common objectives, wives, Christine Brown Woolley has brought up her former spouse, Cody Brown, once more. But why this time? What was the rationale? She broke up with him more than three years ago. Given that she is contentedly married to David Woolley, why is he bringing this up? For additional information, continue reading. Why so sisters, why did Christine Brown dug up Cody again? Christine Brown Woolley is laughing so hard that she can't even pretend that she and Cody Brown are still married. The sister wise actor is happy that he is no longer an issue or a burden for her. Furthermore, she devoted a great deal of time to proving to Janelle Brown, her ex-sister wife, that she was deserving. She hoped she would also leave Cody behind, which she did, and that she deserved far more than what he was providing her. Ultimately, Robin Brown remained Cody's only wife after Mary Brown left the multiple marriage. Christine celebrated her first official marriage with a sumptuous multi-day ceremony after falling in love. Christine is now bringing up Cody again, but why is that happening? Does this have anything to do with their kids or the upcoming return of season 19, which is scheduled to air in a few months? No, it relates to nachos. Even though she was outside, she revealed that she was in front of a gas station in a car confession video. What did this specific petrol station represent? The book Becoming Sister Wives. The story of an unconventional marriage was written by the Sister Wives family. Cody Brown described how, during one of their first dates, Christine Brown Woolley was consuming nachos. He had publicly declared he was not attracted to Christine, so fans knew it utterly disgusted and turned him off. She felt compelled to retell the incident when she happened to be at the gas station where she had those nachos. Since she is nachos anymore, she claimed that it was a nacho anniversary. Giving it up, Christine Brown Woolley didn't seem to have totally forgotten about this issue. It goes without saying that hearing someone you love utter such horrible things to you is upsetting. She has, though, already cracked the nachos joke a few times. The fact that Christine could eat them with David Woolley without fear of criticism thrilled her. She is back at the crime scene now. No matter how much David loves and embraces her, will the hurtful remarks from Cody Brown ever truly go from her? Or is Christine just making light of a notorious sister-wise scenario? Is Christine able to let go of her past with Cody? Or does she act in this way to amuse her supporters? Tell us in the comments section below. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.